Today we're replacing the battery on the Asus ROG Phone 7 Ultimate, one of the most powerful gaming phones on the market. With its customizable rear screen, air trigger shoulder buttons, and support for the Aeroactive cooler, this is a phone built for performance. But it's also one of the trickiest devices to disassemble. Let's get started. As always, power off the device first. We use a magic self-heating pad to soften the adhesive behind the curved glass back cover. The back glass is thick and has almost no visible gap between it and the midframe, the typical Asus design. We carefully insert a thin metal pry card, followed by some isopropyl alcohol to weaken the adhesive. Use suction and patience, rushing this step risks cracking the glass or damaging the Raj Vision display on the back. This phone has already been taken apart before, so the back cover came off quite easily. Yours will probably be a bit more difficult. For a detailed step-by-step -step guide, check out our previous teardown video of the Zenfone 11 Ultra. Once opened, don't pull too hard, the rear cover houses the rear display flex and NFC coil. Disconnect the rear panel carefully before setting it aside. We start by unscrewing the metal shields to expose the battery connector. Always disconnect the battery before touching anything else. As expected, the ROG 7 Ultimate's internals are densely packed, Asus really makes use of every millimeter. Next, we remove the mainboard, charging daughter board, and all connected flex cables.
Don't forget to take out the SIM tray, which locks part of the bottom board in place. The internal structure down here is actually quite complex. Just remember one thing, take it apart, but do it with care. Every component deserves gentle handling, especially if it's your first time. Every chip and ribbon cable on the motherboard is fragile. If you use too much force or slip up, you could easily damage something. Also, pay close attention to the screws, they vary in type and length. If you accidentally put a long screw where a short one is meant to go, it can pierce right through the glass screen, that's a costly mistake. So make sure you keep track of the screw positions carefully, marking them down is highly recommended. At this point, the motherboard still wouldn't come out. Here's the trick. It's actually hidden under the Aeroactive Cooler's intake vent. Use a small blade to carefully pry open the vent, and you'll spot two more screws inside. Once those screws are out, the Aeroactive Portal Vent Module comes right off, and from there, the motherboard lifts out easily. Just a heads up there's a pogo pin module tucked under the motherboard, so make sure you don't miss it. Before we take out the battery, let's have a closer look at the Aeroactive Portal Vent Module. Inside, there's a small motor that controls the vent opening and closing. It's quite similar to the pop-up camera mechanism from earlier models. This kind of mechanical design really adds to the Raj phone's cool, hardcore vibe. Like most phones, the battery is glued to the midframe. Just drip some alcohol around the edges so it seeps underneath and softens the adhesive. With a gentle pry using a plastic spudger, the battery comes right off. Once the old battery is removed, we clean the frame and install the replacement battery. Reassembly is the reverse order of disassembly. If you think taking it apart is tricky, let me tell you putting it back together is even more of a hassle because there are so many parts. First, install the new battery, then carefully place the motherboard back along with its flex cables. After that, fit the daughter board and make sure to double check every connector. Finally, reinstall the speaker and the cover plate.
Be careful again with screw lengths, as this uses mixed size screws and putting a long screw in the wrong hole can puncture the screen. Leave connecting the battery until the very end. Before sealing the phone, power it on to check that the battery is charging and the phone boots up. If everything looks good, apply frame adhesive around the edges and press the back cover into place. Thanks for watching.